Programming the Bionizer. After switching power onto the Bionizer, we use the four buttons to enter the settings that suit your pool size. First, set the current time into the unit by using the Program Set button as shown. Note the way the cursor moves from the hour to the minute display. We use a 24 hour clock and it begins at midnight each day. So when we set 1830, as shown here, that means the time is 6.30 p.m. You will now select the volume size of your pool. If you are unsure of the size, then use the calculator. We will show you how to use this simple tool at the end of this video. Now, we know the pool size we have, so observe the process we use to set that figure into the Bionizer control unit. When the correct volume is on the screen, press the Program Set button to enter the pool volume. The Bionizer now automatically chooses the correct power setting and the correct amount of time the Ionizer will operate for each day. This unique feature ensures that you will never over-ionize your pool and takes the guesswork away when setting up your Bionizer. In other words, the Bionizer has self-selected the proper settings that ensure your water is healthy and safe to swim in. Now for the pump filter time settings. There are four separate pump zones, A, B, C and D. Always use the A zone as the first pump timing after midnight and then B, C and D. This ensures that all the pump times are included in order of earliest to latest during the day. Use the program set and the up down buttons as shown here to select and enter each time period that you will have the pump operating. These will be times your pump will operate for every day. You can alter them at any time using this same method. If you do not want to use all the four time zones, then simply leave the zone you do not wish to use on the same start and finish time and it will be ignored. The screen will show what the power percentage setting is and also how long the ionizer will operate for every day. The screen will also show whether the unit is manual off, manual on, auto off or auto on, A, B, C or D, depending on the current time. If the bionizer is set to boost mode, then this will show on the screen. If using an external control system for the pool, then simply plug the Bionizer into that system. Plug the pump into the Bionizer unit, set the pool program and leave the unit on manual on setting. The external or total pool control system will work in tandem with the Bionizer. Zodiac, Astral, Seabus and indeed all other external pool control systems are compatible with the Bionizer. To set the boost function, simply press and hold the on-off auto button for about five seconds. A request for the existing level of copper will be shown on the screen. In this case, we will be starting the Bionizer for the first time on the pool, so we scroll through the display until we can select the zero copper level. We then choose this setting by pressing the program set button. The unit will now ionize the pool by filtering and ionizing continuously until the copper level is approximately 0.6 parts per million. The length of the boost timing will show on the screen, but usually around 12 hours or so depending on the volume of the pool. To take the unit off the boost setting, simply press and hold the on-off auto button for 5 seconds. Make sure to use the copper test kit supplied with the Bionizer to test your pool water regularly. Once a week is best. Your Bionizer is designed to maintain a copper reading of 0.6 parts per million in the pool when you have entered a correct pool volume. However, rain and bather load can affect the iron levels from time to time. The Bionizer can be fine-tuned up or down for the power output and the ionizing time just by reprogramming the settings. The self-clean light will flash whenever the unit is actually in ionizing mode. This is how to use the calculator to discover the volume of your pool. Use the up-down buttons and the program set button to select calculator. Enter the figures for the length, width and depth of your pool, using averages if the pool is in irregular shape. 
and then the screen will display the size volume of your pool. If the pool ever requires a boost to compensate for loss of copper ions, for any reason such as heavy rain or bather load, then you will have to take a copper reading first, as you will be required to enter a copper level before the unit will allow you to use the boost function. This feature is designed to prevent over ionization of your pool. So make sure that a copper test is done and the results define the amount of boost time the bionizer will determine. This video shows you how to program and operate the bionizer. It is simple and easy to do. Get the pool size and the time of day right and you can't go wrong. Bionizer self-selecting settings are your assurance against mistakes and any possibility of staining your pool. The unit determines the power to the anodes and how long the anodes will ionize for. Now set your bionizer up and running and go and enjoy your eco-friendly, ultra-healthy pool.